But this is the this is the site. So we have 378 plots set up. If you have a natural prairie that is the size of this whole area, it'll probably have 300 species of plants or so. We can't simulate that, um, but we can get close. We can get to about 64 species. I um, mean, so what we're really targeting here isn't the corn fields, isn't the soybean fields, it's the unfarmable areas on the farm. Um, and there's always lots of that. So for instance, we'll be measuring the amount of biomass that's produced. That biomass can be used to produce fuel, but can be also be used to feed the cattle. We'll measure the amount of carbon that's stored in the soil. Um, that's actually a way of slowly slowing down global warming and ultimately potentially reversing it, is if we can store lots of the carbon dioxide down in the soil. Plants do that as a regular part of their lives. But also, do these plots um, reduce soil erosion? Do they reduce the runoff of phosphorus fertilizers into, into streams? Do they do that better than what's currently being used on the farm? So basically the goal is to try and weave prairies, recreate prairies back in the agricultural community um, by showing farmers that, look, these have a lot of advantages over what you're currently using, plus we can restore an endangered ecosystem in the, in the act of doing it. So there you go, there's the 30-second the summary. Okay, on behalf of Midwest One Bank, we are thrilled to present this to you today. And thank you for all your extra efforts and the students' efforts in this project. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It makes a difference. Uh, and it makes a huge difference, especially in these early stages of this project. This this money will literally get us off the ground. So thank you very much for your your, your donation. We're excited to be involved. Great. Students, a little cheer, please. Woo! Yeah! <laughs>